Get that old pig. Get that old pig. Get it. What is that? Get it, Martini. Get it. How to hey, YouTube. Camper Van Kevin here. Well, today, I'm in Quartzsite. Arizona. What am I doing here? Well, I'm kind of at the RTR and I'm kind of not at the RTR. Uh, from what I hear, just Half a mile from here, they're stacked in like sardines. Not, not much room between the RVs at all. So my friends here, they uh, they invited me over. Got a lot more space just outside. Uh, we have music. <laughs> We're uh, well, just a whole lot less rules, but uh, we we can police ourselves pretty good. So, uh, but I've got to head into town. Thought I might show you some RVs and stuff as we drive out. See you in a minute. Heading out this morning, and uh, we have a what's this little dog's name here? Lucy. Lucy. What what kind of dog is that? Uh, I had her DNA tested. She's a Bichon, Pekingese, Pomeranian Chihuahua. Well, I hear you. The wolf pack is getting to meet some friends. I am too. Hello. Want to show you what my friend Homer gave me yesterday? Ooh. And has been driving Martini insane. <laughs> hear that? <laughs> Here's a little video of her playing with it last night. Get it. Woo wee. Do it. You feeling better today? Get it. Woo wee. Get it. Get that pig. Woo wee. But anyway, this thing is as big as her. You want your piggy? Go get it. She's been playing with it all morning. All right. So the, the wolf pack's getting a lot of attention from uh, from subscribers and friends and everything. They're eating it up. <laughs> oh, you got it stuck now. That's nice. Yep. I'm, I'm going to rebuild it. Uh oh. Oh, there she goes. Uh -oh. Let me see. This. You say she does a lot of visiting in people's yeah, rigs. She does. <laughs> Baby Maymay, I can't believe you allowed that. I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, dog. Hey, you. You come back here. I'll bite him. You come to here again. I'll bite him. You'll see. Tucker, you had your chance. You didn't do nothing. So those that wonder, does Baby Maymay ever bark? Yep. There's your answer. Ready to go into town? We got to get some mail and got to pick up your dog food. We got to drive all the way into Parker. All right, let's get going. Give you guys a look around. Someone put up some TP tents over there. Had a lot of music from the other night. Not that I care. If I was sitting at a pristine lake and I had it all to myself, and uh, somebody came in and played music, I'd be upset. But here you kind of expect it. You look around. Man, there's so many RVs. Yep, at least we got a little room over here. This is my buddy Daryl's Tiago 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 Arrow. I'll show you something here. I think he got his inspiration from uh Aja for doing his panels. My buddy Donnie hooked them up. Can't go wrong. Stick them on the side like that. <laughs> Look at there. All right, let's get going. Yep, Donnie is the one that straightened out the solar on my RV. There he is right there in his white transit. Colleen's Falcon, very similar 
to my tan camper van. I'm not sure if I will even go into the main part of the RTR. All my friends are right here. I sure would like to take a closer look at this thing right here. Maybe we'll just walk up on it a little bit. Definitely got style. 54 square feet it says. Estimated cost 10,000 to build. Seven months to build it weighs 2,400 pounds. Now that's style. Now I thought that was, I thought that was solar up there, but some kind of catwalk. Neat, neat, neat. That metal on the bottom reminds me of like off a U-Haul bottom, U-Haul travel trailer, a U-Haul uh, box truck. Got a solar up there. It's one of my favorite things I've seen so far, but I never have seen anybody outside to talk to him about seeing the inside. He's got his boot on his wheel. It's not that I'm against the RTR, but um, you know, I've already been to all the the talks and the classes and stuff. I figure it's pretty much the same thing again. Class A's. Trucks, pop-up campers. Class B's. Hello? Hi, Lowe's. We're all good. We're working on it. Yeah. What's your What's your baby's name? Jax. Jax? Yeah. I've heard that name before a time or two. Yeah. It's a makes, makes a good pet name. <laughs> What's that? A, a Maltese? No. Uh, Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. Yeah. I hear you. Okay, you guys have a good day. You too. Bye bye. Uh, there was yelling in two year old to y'all's ears. Oh, look at the dust. There are a bunch of little pro masters out here. But you know they just work so well. That's a little shorty. That's a 136 just like mine. I'm gonna let my window up so I don't get so much dust in my RV getting out of here. Yeah, the road's rough. But it's a lot better in this van. So I had a comment this morning. How can you stand being at the RTR with all that drama and all that dust? Ugh. Well, it's all how you it's all how you decide to look at things. The way I see it, I'm here to look at the positive. I'm here to see all my friends and make new friends. I knew the desert was dusty before I got here. And it's only bad on the road. So it's all in your mind. It's all in your mindset. Drama just, I mean, yeah, I gotta catch up with me every now and then. It does, I gotta be honest with you. The trick, the trick is to not let it stick. If you can. So I just think, just bounce off, bounce off, bounce off. If I can. <laughs> Why am I leaving today? Well, the reason I'm going to Parker is because I ordered the dog's dog food on Chewy.com. And uh, I was at Parker at the time. I thought it would get there before I had to leave. But now they're out of dog food. So it's half an hour to get there. It'll be all right. I've also got some mail that went into general delivery in Parker at the post office. Got to get that too. It's the Dan Man. How you doing? The Dan Van Man. The Dan Van. <laughs> He better get to go and keep from getting run over. The main dirt road back there, once you get off this pavement, it's not that bad at all. And truth be told, the dirt here beside the pavement, it's not too shabby. Following a older Atasca Class A out of here this morning. There's Interstate 10 right there. Just ease on out. 
got a couple vehicles decide they're going to try the pavement this morning it's all good it's a four by four truck heavy duty suspension so my friend bill older gentleman my mentor like i said he had more influence on my life than anybody he's a he's a hoot he's a cut up so whenever i do sound effects like that he said, how'd that go again? And I go, Meow. <laughs> because I didn't realize how many sound effects I made it when I talked. <laughs> he get me every time. So I started doing it with uh, my buddy, David. Uh, I grew up with David. Like, uh, so I've known him since he was about three. I met him, his daddy run a gas station in Lexington. And he was out back running around in his diapers and my daddy was friends with his daddy. Anyway. I started doing the same thing in him when he'd have a conversation. And he he'd do a sound effect when he's talking like, you know, that gun was like pow, pow, pow. I said, how'd that go again? And David's a comedian. <laughs> so I said, how'd that go again? He goes, meow. <laughs> a little stupid stuff like that makes life fun. Don't be so serious. Gosh, all the time I've wasted. You, have you been wasting time too? Huh? You gotta be silly. You gotta do stupid things. Don't be so serious all the time. Don't be in a hurry all the time. It takes, takes away the fun of life. Try it. See how it works. I'm gonna get around this class soon. That's it. Try it. Don't be so serious all the time. Oh, big old sucker, I'd be going slow too. Does wonders for my happiness. I figure if I figure out anything else, I'll, do, I'll share that with you too. Life's too short. Wanna get robbed one, wanna get one trip around this rock. Yeah? I hope I, hope I figured it out in time. Yeah, big old class A, he had to take it easy. Little bitty van. I can make better time than he can. Not tear up anything either. There are all kind of campgrounds here in Quartzsite. You don't have to be out in the desert in the dust with no amenities. Campgrounds everywhere. No line for propane today come back the beautiful nice campgrounds here people just enjoying the weather and the shopping it's not the way I like to camp I'll do it I think it's a fun game trying not to spend any money though well went to Safeway did you know that you could have your packages delivered for site to Safeway Grocery stores for no charge? Me either. Right across the road from the big W here in Parker. Here's my package. Chewy.com. FedEx tried to deliver it to the Parker post office. But of course, you can't uh, you can't deliver FedEx to the post office. But uh, Safeway knows what they're doing. Because while I was here, I bought 100 bucks in groceries. And I got too many groceries for my refrigerator. So I got a mess. I've got a mess in here. Thank you, Mr. Bob, for my knife. My old Uncle Henry. Blade's dirty. So I can get this without getting into the dog food you know I was on the diamond lamb and rice my vet told me to go to chicken and rice and so I switched to this Perina beyond they don't like it
So I'm going back to uh, Diamond Naturals, small breed adult chicken and rice formula, and uh, see if it's more what they're used to eating. See if they'll see if they like it better. This was rated uh, on two different websites in the top five um, for quality control and you know being a good dog food. So. I raised one dog on it for 20 years and didn't have any problems. And if this doesn't work, I'm just going to start cooking for them. I'll take one day a week and cook for seven days, put it in seven baggies, freeze it, throw it in the fridge, and give them some every day. We're going to give this a whirl. I don't think my van's ever been so full of stuff. I got trash, too many groceries, too many waters. I guess it's better to have too much than not enough, right? But I've almost had a mutiny with these three. Me not giving them any treats or human food. I kinda kinda worry a little bit when I go to sleep. I make sure I put up all the sharp objects. <laughs> they might just take this thing over. Might get me. I'd sleep. I sleep one eye open. I'll put a little toothpick right there. Make sure, make sure they don't get me. All right, let's get on down the road. I know y'all are feeling it where you guys are at as well, but they've lost their freaking minds in the grocery store. Two dollars and sixty cents for a roll of Bounty paper towels. I got the store brand for about two bucks. Everything is so high. If I'm paying a lot for it, you are too. But our money's no good. You know, since 1913, when they created the Federal Reserve, our money has lost 97% of its purchasing power. And they got the printing presses turned up high. High. <laughs> They're printing money so fast, it's making our money worth less. Things didn't get more expensive. Our currency's been ruined. I keep it off the channel, but I've kind of been an alternative news conspiracy guy for about 20 years. And especially since 2007, 2008. But I keep it off the channel. We just talk about dogs and RVs. See, I believe. Okay, keep politics and religion off your channel, right? No, it's my channel. I believe that uh, we're headed for a full financial collapse. When people ask me why I sold base camp, why I'm living out on the road. That's why. Because nothing we own is going to have any value. And when it happens, the whole world's going to change. It's going to be so bad, it's going to make what happened in the 1920s and 30s in America. It's going to be so bad, it won't even be compared to it. So, that's one of the reasons I'm out here now enjoying it while it's all still here. That ought to light, that ought to light up the comment section. But see, we don't have to agree on everything. You don't have to agree with my views, financial views, political views, religious views, for us to be friends. Yeah. See, when I grew up, we had a different viewpoint. We might argue about it a little bit, talk about it a little bit, but we didn't hate each other because of it. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. So all that's left to do... <clears throat> Take my trash out of here, empty my porta potty, get some propane, and head back to the RTR. So here you thought I was gonna sit around a campfire and film other YouTubers filming me. That slipped one by you. This is what original content looks like. Okay. Alright, well. Video's starting to run long. You know what we gotta do. We gotta end this little video right here. 
I appreciate each and every one of you. Even people that disagree with me. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye. Be happy. Agree to disagree.